Being dead and stuck in the world of the living certainly has its challenges. Watching the world go without you, well, it can be really hard. My name is Margaret Cropper and I'm 142 years deceased. Before my death, I would say I lived a pretty normal life. I took pride in my work as a seamstress and it was there in the factory where I met the love of my life. Her name was Joanna. Working across from Joanna certainly had its distractions. That's how I came upon the zigzag stitch from my fingers down to my elbow. The doctor wanted to try amputation. The blood loss got to me first. It was a rough day to be sure, but leaving behind my beloved Joanna was the hardest part of it all. Admittedly, it's my own fault I'm stuck in this purgatory. Blame it on the naivete of young love, but I just couldn't leave my Joanna behind. In hindsight, my spectre probably disturbed her more than anything. And so she moved on and I'm still here. One of the best parts of being a ghost has been watching the progression of human history. It's crazy how much everything has changed. Sure, the wars weren't great, but people have rights now, mostly. It's been really hard not being able to physically interact with the world, but that doesn't mean I haven't let it flow through me. Quite literally. I like to think I've kept up with the times, to be sure. I mean, the last 10 years have been especially fun for me. Like, I'm hip with all your memes and the interwebs. I was born in the wrong generation. Is this thing even recording? More to the point, how is it recording? I mean, this looks advanced even by today's standards. Is anyone even listening to me? Hello? Hello?